Hello my dear Photoshop magicians, how's life? Today we're going to look at very cool stories that I recently created using Photoshop. So as you can see, this is episode number one, the girl's approaching Red Bull. Episode number two, she's drinking it and Red Bull is getting energized. Episode number three, she starts feeling some magical things. Wow. And then the final episode, she turns into a flying angel. Just look at this, how cool is that? Obviously the idea was based on Red Bull Gives You Wings ad and I will show you how I edited every episode of this manipulation. And before we start, let me tell you something very cool. If you look at my artworks and you love them and you think that you want to create something similar like this, like this, like this, or even some beautiful animations, I want to tell you that you can always go to longfromfred.com and start your free trial. What does this mean? That means that with just one membership, you get access to all of the classes that I have on my website, where you can learn how to create over 60 stunning artworks and animations. Again, you can get the classes one by one, or you can enroll into membership, which has a 14 day free trial. These are some of the artworks that my students have created. And by the way, there are already over 30,000 students who learned Photoshop from me. So that's a pretty crazy number. With that said, let's get into Photoshop. So in order to follow this, you need to have at least some basic knowledge of Photoshop because this is not going to be a detailed tutorial. It's going to be more of a process and techniques that I use. I want to show you the images first. As you can see, these are the original images and uh, the way I did them and very simple. I mean, I just find the model then I find a photographer and then I make an appointment and then we gather all together and we shoot the images. So yeah, these are my images and not some images from the internet. And as you can see, I had to shoot every scene one by one. So as you can see previously, she was just drinking the Red Bull. Now she's starting to turn into some magical creature. And then the last page where she's actually turning into an angel. Another cool thing about these images is that if you look at the extension, it's .cr2. What does this mean? This basically means that this is a raw image. When you download files from the internet, for example, uh, you usually download them in JPEG or PNG format. But when you actually make the images yourself, you can also get a different format, a raw format. And actually this raw format is much better because it gives you many more editing capabilities, especially if you want to edit the colors. When I import the image, it automatically opens camera raw filter so that I can start editing the colors. And here, first thing I actually want to do is, let me just load the settings that I have for this image. So the first thing that I usually do is I make the image very, very low contrast. So for example, uh, if you look at before and after, as you can see, this is high contrast, this is low contrast. And the reason why I do that is that so that I can edit the colors much better. As you can see here, we can also can see many more details on her coat, on her hair, and that's really cool. Now, once I did that, I actually go again to camera raw filter and edit the colors again. So yeah, I edit the colors twice. First time when I just import them as a raw image and then second time again to give them some bluish color. And I know right now you look at this and be like, what, this is too blue? And I agree with you, but there is more. In order to make this so blue, I basically had to edit mainly the color grading panel. And as you can see here, midtones are really, really blue. If I just, you know, move them, you can see we change the colors to whatever we want. And now to make the blue colors a little bit softer, I can actually just double click here. And here what it does, it opens the blending parameters for this camera raw filter. So again, if you just click on this button here, as you can see here, now I can blend the uh, camera raw filter with the original image and decide which blending mode do I want to choose. And by doing this, I can actually select different things. So for example, color dodge looks, looks pretty good, but here I actually selected pin light. And once I do that, boom, mwah, magnificent. Next steps were to add this um, cool smoke effect. And it's, it's just an image, you know, let me just show it to you. So it's just a normal image of a smoke. This is it. And uh, what I did here basically is I opened blending options and I you know, reduced the black color on the smoke a little bit. I changed the blending from normal to linear dodge and I also just added a mask and boom. And also added the second one of it, you know, to make it look a little bit better. Next here, I'm just playing with color balance, just, you know, editing the colors a little bit. Then I'm adding some exposure by actually making the edges of this place darker. As you can see, boom, it's a little bit darker because we need to have light coming from Red Bull towards her face. And uh, that's why I also need to make Red Bull really bright and also add brightness around her just to make her face a little bit brighter. And uh, the last step here is a cool 
color edit yeah i know another color edit and uh, if i just turn this on boom we're just adding a little bit of greenish colors here and uh, you can see just a little bit and it makes it look mwah, magnificent now here i did everything the same with the colors again the only difference is that as you can see here we have this really lighting around red bull and the way i did this was very simple so here i actually have a cool brush uh, lighting brush as you can see i have actually a bunch of them and i can just choose any one of them you know create any empty layer and if i just draw with white color boom lighting appears wow and yes i just downloaded it from the internet i think i paid for it but i'm sure you can also find free ones if you just search lighting brush for photoshop and here was the lighting next step uh, image number three is basically all the same but here we have more for lighting we have it on the red bull on the on her hands and also as you can see i also did light up her hands as well so for example as you can see this is her hand i added some brightness effect to it and also outer glow to make it glow basically and also colored her eyes white and this is just you know a simple white color where i'm adding a little bit of outer glow and also gaussian blue this is without gaussian blue and outer glow as you can see it looks very edgy and not smooth at all but once I add both of them, it starts looking really and really nice. And now, the last part. So here, you're already familiar with many of the things that I did here, I guess. So I have here some lighting effects uh, on her hands. I also have it on her hair. And as you can see, I also have here a smoke effect here, here, here. And it's the same smoke effect that I added in the first image. So uh, let me see if I can find it here. Yeah, as you can see, it's the same smoke effect, the same image. I just used it again on her hand and hair additional part here are actually wings of course this is the wings images that i used and as you can see it's a pretty cool image unfortunately i cannot you know give you these images because they are not mine i bought them and i can only use it for my personal use i cannot share it with other people so i'm sorry but yeah you'll have to find them on your own it's illegal for me to share them basically so this is the image without the wings and uh, I mean, the wings are pretty simple. You just add the image. You need to put it in the right direction. Basically, you need to rotate it a bit to make it, uh, you know, look like this is the front part, this is the back part. And then you just add a mask to put them behind her. And voila. Uh, but also, there are also some more details. For example, here, I added um, a little bit of shadows. So if you look here, I added some shadows to make it look a little bit more realistic. Because obviously, if the wings are connected to her back, we will have shadows there and uh, here i also made her eyes like cry kind of because here if you look as you can see uh it's the same like i did before with the eyes but right this time i just made them a little bit longer so you can just take white brush you draw this shape here like a liquid shape and then you just add outer glow and gaussian blur to it i have thousands of tutorials on how to add this effect and you can just find any of my angelic tutorials and you will find it and the last part here was my special pattern so if i just click boom and uh, this pattern just makes it look a little bit more magical as you can see without the pattern with the pattern i really think with the pattern it's much better and by the way i have a link for this image in my previous tutorial in this color grading tutorial where i showed you how to turn this image from this to this beautiful colors and also add a little bit of cool light lick effect and uh, if you want that, this image just go to that tutorial and uh, i will also link the link to that tutorial in the description you will be able to find there this specific image so this one but if you want this as a pattern just like i have it here because when you have it as a pattern you can actually you know make it bigger smaller and so on and you can play with different cool effects so for example and as you can see here when i have this i can just double click and i can change its size to make it bigger smaller and uh, as you can see add different cool effects basically control the effect more or if i make it even smaller it looks wow it looks actually even better i don't know why i didn't do that so anyway if you want this as a pattern then it's accessible on my website learnfromfred.com so for the website members i often share with website members different cool patterns color presets and many other things and my dear friends again boom 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 i recently started doing this type of story related artworks because before i just did you know uh, artworks that are just single artworks basically there is no story but lately i got bored of them so i thought okay i want to do a story i want to do like a first episode second episode third episode and so on yep so if you want to follow me on instagram make sure to check out fred's gallery with that said love you make sure to turn on bell notifications so you don't miss my next magical photoshop tutorials bye bye